What happens to old satellites? Typically satellites, if they run out of fuel or something happens to it where it's just not working, it is essentially orbiting around the Earth dead. So what happens eventually is gravity will continuously pull on it and bring it down. If that satellite, upon re-entering into the atmosphere, does not burn up, sometimes you'll find pieces of that structure on one of our large continents or in the ocean. We don't want that to happen. So if a spacecraft ran out of fuel or has a bad part, it'd be great if we could fix it. That's why NASA is working on in-space servicing, assembly, and manufacturing capabilities. OSAN-1, on-orbit service and assembly and manufacturing mission one, is coming to you very soon. There are capabilities and technologies that will allow us to sustain some of our key assets. So if they have a bad instrument or they want to upgrade, we can do that in space. Essentially, that is going to help NASA explore and create missions that are going to improve our capabilities from the moon, Mars, and beyond. So, what happens to old satellites? Well, currently, they either burn up upon re-entry or they remain in space dead. But all that's gonna change with OSAN-1. It's gonna be the game changer that is gonna help them become sustainable and upgradable for the future.